Hi guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial of computer graphics programming with OpenGL uh, in Visual Studio. Uh, today we will study about the geometric transformation for the two dimensional objects or images. Uh, geometric transformation in the computer graphics we are calling it geometric transformation, graphical transformation or mathematical modeling. Because each and every image whatever you are getting in the screen that is designed or it is formulated with the mathematical operation geometric transformation mean its meaning is that mathematical operations applied to the geometric descriptions of an object to change its position orientation shape and size basically we are having three uh, basic operations Uh, for the geometric transformation, translation, rotation and scaling other than we are having reflection, shearing, composite operations are also there. But we will study about the translation, rotation and scaling. Now what is tr translation? Two dimensional translation, it is a simple uh, operation. Suppose that we want to transfer our image from one point to the another point. So what we will do, we will just add the translation factor to the x coordinate and y coordinate for the y translation factor same thing for the two dimensional rotation uh, we need rotation axis and a rotation angle in this one uh, for the two dimensional rotation actually we should know that uh, the rotation axis is always z axis and the rotation angle depends upon us and the point from which uh, the reference point uh, from which you want to rotate that is called as pivot point or rotation point the matrix for the rotation is this one uh, this is r cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta theta is the rotation angle by which we are rotating our image scaling scaling is the process of expanding or compression uh, compressing the dimension that is the size of the object uh, the scaling definition we can see from here the matrix is simply this one uh, but uh, scaling factor sx and sy if you are having sx less than one then it is compressing if it is more than one then it is enlarged if it is one then there is no change now we will start the uh, translation uh, and rotation and scaling operation on the two dimensional object uh, for this purpose we are having the code from the previous one the polygon function uh, you can download the code from the description uh, this code we have already studied uh, for trying the polygon function in this one we are having the uh, vert vertices in terms of the pixel now we will start uh, just go to the visual studio go to new project Select Visual C++, write the name Geometric uh, Transformation or you can write your the name of your own project. Add the file here, new item, select C++, GT, Geometric Transformation, paste the code here. Now we need to add the dependencies. We should know how to add the dependencies we have discussed already in the previous tutorial. You can subscribe the channel and you can watch the tutorial from the previous section CC++ general additional include directories go to edit button. We are having clut and glue folder pre clut include select glue folder this you can watch from the first tutorial how to set the environment linker file general additional library directories this time for the library glue and glut library select same thing for the glue library select ok go to input Additional dependencies, edit button, free glut dot lib, glue 32 dot lib. Okay, apply. Okay. 
now we are having one thing uh, one more thing that is clut and glue dll file copy these two files go to your project open folder in windows explorer paste the file here now environment is set everything is set in this tutorial the function we are using gl translate f the transformation function we are using in uh, OpenGL GL Translate F. F stands for the float values. This is first value is for x direction, y is the second is values for y and third is for the z axis. Uh, for two dimensional, uh, because we are having uh, applying on the two dimensional, so there is no need for the z direct z value. Just keep it zero. Uh, but in OpenGL we are having the function for the three dimensional. So we are having zero, uh, x, y and z, z will be zero uh, for us because this is two dimensional and x and y values depends upon the coordinates, how many coordinates, you, uh, how many pixel position you want to shift. Suppose that this is 50, 50, uh, execute the code without uh, this translate f and see the difference. This is our image. Now uh, we want to translate uh, the this code, this polygon. So we are using translate a function, and we are trans uh, translating it to the 50-50 pixel in x y direction. And z coordinate is actually zero because this is two dimensional object. Again, execute the code the object is translated to the 50 pixel from x direction and 50 pixel from the y direction this is the translation function mm, one thing we can uh, do also uh, that is uh, this image if you will click on the key uh, on your screen by your mouse it will be translated each and every time it is shifting plus 50 pixels on x y direction this taking the input from the mouse now the second operation is for the scaling function that is gl scale f you can use this function also copy the code here make translate function as comment first value is uh, your x value suppose that we want the size to be reduced on the x direction 0.5 factor and the y direction we want to increase uh, 1.5 so uh, what will be the output The object is reduced by 50% on the x direction and it is increased by 1.5% on the y direction. You can do this thing in reverse 0.5 for y direction. This is our output. This is multiplied by 1.5 and 0.5. This is for the scaling function for the two dimensional object. Now the third thing is remaining about the uh, rotation. This is the code for the rotation. If you will see this is the uh, angle by which angle you want to rotate. This is x value, uh, x axis, this is y axis and this is z axis. Always in the two dimensional object. Remember one thing. the object will move according to the x z direction not x and y direction if you will rotate by x and y uh, axis you will not get anything on the screen so remember this thing here we are having uh, one function angle you can give the value directly here or you can start give the value here angle equal to suppose that 2 degree execute the code object is rotated by 2 degree again click on the screen 
it will it is again rotated by 2 degree again click on the screen it is rotated by 2 degree so in this way it is rotating so this is all about the uh, geometric transformation we can use this function uh, in the future for more complex operation we will uh, discuss for watching uh, more operations on the OpenGL you can subscribe the channel you can click on the notification button uh, for more videos this tutorial series is for the beginners uh, for complete OpenGL series for computer graphics thank you for watching the channel please subscribe the channel